What are the chances of having two part-time swimsuit models back-to-back -back on daytime Ottawa? I mean, unbelievable. Uh, he's doing some poses right now, and you're, everyone's missing out. Christopher Rode is uh, on the board of directors for the Mirror Mountain Film Festival. Welcome. So outside of the... Well, and I'm going to get into the to the industry as well, the swimwear model, because I think <laughs> you, Simon, and I, uh, we could really pull it off. The trio. Uh, the yeah, team. exactly. Yeah. We could be a trio. That doesn't the happen male often. Charlie's Angels. That's the trio. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Um, let's talk about this film festival. Give me a yeah. little uh, a little history, a little background on it. Sure. Well, um, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Okay. It's really a great pleasure to be here. Uh, Mirror Mountain Film Festival is a festival that I started along with a few friends back in 2014 because we are artists ourselves. You know, we're filmmakers, we're musicians. Uh, you know, some of us are involved in theater and other aspects of local culture. And we were just kind of sick and tired of not having a great destination for the type of work that we made. Okay. You know, we would go to festivals that were showing our own work and you know the speaker wouldn't be working the projector would be out of focus no one was getting paid it was you know not what we really wanted and what we felt like we deserved honestly so we thought well why don't we just make our own festival and we will have a chance to be able to give artists that kind of an opportunity the one that we wish we had so it was um, the impetus behind it was to try and try and create a, a platform where artists would have you know the best presentation of their work possible and be treated with the most respect and be paid an artist fee and just be generally be treated like superstars. Yeah, and I respect that a great deal because I understand what you're saying. I've been to some of the smaller film festivals and they, sometimes they're in, not all of them. Don't start <laughs> writing me now. But, you know, they can be somewhat disorganized and, yeah, have some technical issues and, and this sort of thing. So, highly respect <laughs> that you, you had that experience and you decided to do something about it. And it's more than just um, screening films, right? It's more than mm -hmm. just showcasing films um, because you're very innovative tell us you know some of those other aspects that you've brought in absolutely yeah you know it's a big event uh, we do not just film screenings but we also do uh, live music we also do some uh, uh, shows where uh, not just there's uh, visuals playing behind the band like pre-recorded but where artists are actually creating live visuals alongside the music so it's like a music video that like unfolds in real time right in front of you uh, we also have interactive exhibits uh, we have parties we have social gatherings gatherings, panel discussions, all sorts of stuff. Um, tell me about interactive exhibits. What do you mean by that exactly? Well, uh, it changes from year to year, but okay. uh, there are times where we've had uh, you know, VR experiences uh, on display at the festival. We've also had uh, like a setup once where there was an interactive video game that you could actually just play through on a giant screen that an artist friend from ours from Toronto had designed. Very uh, cool. So it, it can vary uh, in a lot of different ways, but I mean, that's kind of what Mirror Mountain is all about, is trying to branch out and do new and unexpected and innovative things with the festival format. So, Christopher, how do you how do you fund the festival then? How is it funded? That's a good question. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization, okay. so uh, we do apply for grant funding uh, from places like the City of Ottawa or the Ontario Arts Council, but uh, they don't necessarily have the ability to you know kind of uh, complete the picture for us, so to right. speak. Uh, so we have to uh, diversify our funding quite a bit, and oftentimes that means uh, drawing upon the community for support right and you also have a fundraising aspect yourselves you, you actually have a fundraising campaign that's going on right now with for being studio and they're going to come on the show uh, next week I believe on May 25th but um, tell us a little bit about that organization and, and why you chose it absolutely yeah well one thing that we're really passionate about at Mirror Mountain Film Festival in addition to supporting artists and giving you know independent and original and unique artists a platform is uh, supporting diversity uh, that's a really really important aspect uh, to the organization since its very beginning. Uh, you know, we want to be able to create opportunities for people who wouldn't otherwise have a voice to be able to be seen and heard. Uh, and when we learned that Being Studio, which is a local charity here in Ottawa, is devoted entirely to creating opportunities for people with developmental disabilities to make art, whether it's painting or sculpture or drawing or creative writing or even drama and theater, uh, we thought that's a perfect fit for our organization. That's great. And how are you raising funds? Uh, through our Indiegogo campaign, so exclusively okay. online right now. Uh, and that runs until May 31st, is That's that right? That's correct. Yeah, there's just a little over 12 days left to uh, to submit a, okay. a contribution. Where do they find you? Uh, you can just check out our website uh, at mirrormountainfilmfest.com. Uh, there's a link right on our homepage to our campaign. 
going back to the festival itself, is it is it just local festivals? Or what do you who do you cater to? What type of filmmakers do you cater to? Oh, that's a great question. Um, you know, we show films from all around the world, okay. from you know various uh, different uh, filmmaking cultures and communities around the globe. But we also really strongly support local filmmakers and local artists. Uh, we have a, a dedicated program of local films every year in the festival. We call it Local Heroes, nice. and uh, it's uh, always a big party because people come out with you know their friends and their family and their crew and the, you know their cast members and everything and uh, it's a really great show of support for the local filmmaking community because there's just so much talent right here in our oh, own backyard I agreed 100 percent it's so it's so disheartening and not just the film industry but it's disheartening to see so many of our artists in front of the camera behind the camera um, having to leave this yeah. this city this country you know in general to to find opportunities are opportunities getting better do you think for for filmmakers in Canada? I think it's the case that people are getting more and more innovative and more okay. and more creative about what filmmaking is and what cinema is and where to make it. You know, it's not like the days where, you know, if you wanted to become part of the industry, you had to go to Hollywood. Right. You know, nowadays, you know, you can whip out your phone and you have a little industry right there in your pocket. So true. Um, it's all really just about creativity and um, what you do with it. The festival itself is coming up July 21st to the 23rd. Are Correct. you still accepting submissions at this time? Only until Monday, so it's closing um, okay. quite soon, yeah. Right. But this is going to be our first in-person festival since before the pandemic. Uh, we ran an online festival in 2021, but this is our first time being in a real theater since 2019. So we want to make it the biggest and best one yet. And there'll be, you know, panels and Q&As and, and things like that too, right? Which I think gives, actually, I was going to say, you know, audience is a great opportunity. It also gives filmmakers a great opportunity because you get that immediate feedback from, from audiences. Um, Chris, Christopher, really appreciate you joining us today. Thanks well, thank so much. Thank you for having me. Hey, it's a pleasure. Um, again, a reminder, uh, it, and, you know, to get your submissions in, Monday's the deadline, so make sure you get those submissions in. MirrorMountainFilmFest.com. And again, the uh, festival comes up uh, July 21st to 23rd. We'll be right back after this.